reviewing them now, they look really, really good. So I think I got kind of what I was envisioning, you guys. What's up, you guys? So this is a super, super random episode. I am literally sitting in my boat. It's about 9 p.m. at night on December 5th, and um, honestly, it's not that cold outside. It's like maybe 40, 45 degrees. Um, and I had this, this idea that hit me suddenly, just boom, right in the head. Um, for a really good photograph that I could take of a brown trout at night. Now, full disclosure, my background, I am a professional photographer. I'm currently trying to restart my Instagram page um, geared toward um, trout and fishing. And so I I've been recently thinking about really cool trout photos. And this particular shot, I've actually not seen anywhere. It's just a thought that I've had, a, a kind of an inspiration. And so originally the plan was to go out at night, um, go photograph some trout, and then just come back edit the photos and then ultimately uh, put it out there on Instagram. But then I thought it'd be kind of fun to invite you guys along for this adventure to kind of share um, the, the thought process behind the photographs, how I light them. And then ultimately uh, the end result, which would be to post it on Instagram and see what people think. So um, without further ado, let's make it happen. All right, people, I had to make a quick stop at Walmart. It's now 931 and I have to get a headlamp, okay? I had a really nice headlamp. I left it out in the rain. It got ruined. However, um, I'm going to go get a headlamp for this night's uh, adventure. Um, and I just realized I have sandals with socks on, which is a major faux pas. But I got to do it. So let's let's go in there. All right, people, I got what I needed from the store. Pretty happy about that. Also, I realized after going in there and it almost being 10 p.m. at night that no one in Walmart cares what you look like. In fact, I looked pretty dang good in there. So um, anyway, without further ado, let's hit the river. <laughs> so guys, I, I just saw something really, really weird. Uh, I'm out here getting all my gear ready and this minivan just flies into the parking lot The lights come on and there's like a bunch of grown Drugged up people just laying in the floorboards. They all look at me and then immediately Crank the van again and take off Man All right people well <clears throat> Seen enough weird th things for one night, you know, let's just get down to the water <laughs> <laughs> and I uh, hope we don't see any more weird drugged out activities, you know, I just want to catch some fish now Photograph the fish and then get home. Okay. All right So I got all my stuff The water actually looks perfect for what I'm planning on doing which is fantastic. All right people we're we're officially on the water my goal is to see if I can catch one close to the car because I've left my gear in there. I honestly don't believe it's gonna necessarily take that long to catch a fish at night, uh, especially while they're generating the brown trout should be a little bit more active. Cut this light off and we're just gonna fish. Oh, there's a fish, guys. Fish on, guys. Yep. All right, he's not bad. Let's see if we can get him in the net. That's gonna be the key, because we need that photograph, you guys. Oh, okay, he's in the net. Let's take a look at him. Yes, beautiful brown trout, guys. That's the target species for this evening. All right, let's go, you guys. We've got our trout. Man, I, I hate that you guys can't see the action as well at night. I know that's tough when you're trying to film, but um, nonetheless, at least you guys could kind of hear the action happening, which is exciting. And I don't know if you can see this, but my net... First of all, it's a rubber net so that it doesn't remove that protective coat of slime. It is currently halfway submerged in the water so that he has plenty of oxygen and his head is facing um, the same direction as the boat. So right now he's got water running through his gills and he's breathing just fine. So, all right, you guys, so I just want to give you a quick breakdown of what's going through my head as I photograph this fish. The number one thing is I want to be quick, right? Because I need to let this fish go as quickly as possible. So I only get really one good shot at this. So let me kind of break down exactly what's going through my brain. The first thing is perspective. Most people uh, photograph right here at eye level, right? That's just the, the typically what humans do. We pull out our cell phone, we take a picture. 
I teach the opposite of that whenever I'm talking to students, and that is get on the level or perspective of your subject matter because it really brings it to life. So let me show you a good example using Chip real quick. So if I just photograph Chip standing right here, that's okay, but it's not very exciting. However, if we get down on Chip's level, right, and we take another picture or we pretend like we're taking a picture, he all of a sudden, he comes to life, right? Um, so that's the first thing is when you're photographing a trout or anything, right? Get on the level of your subject matter. And the next thing is I need a light source. So I actually have a really cool tool with me. It's a piece of lighting equipment called an ice light. And it puts out really nice LED light. And I have that about 45 degrees above the fish just so I have some nice lighting hitting him. The reason I need it about 45 degrees is because I also need a nice reflection of the fish itself. The lower the angle, the more I bring it to life, then we have that nice lighting. And so my plan is very simple. I'm gonna pick up this fish very quickly. I'm gonna put him in the water and then I'm gonna try to photograph him as fast as I can with a super, super low angle. So let's get back to the action. Let's see if we get it. There he goes, guys. Golly, that was cool, you guys. I got So I got a few quick photos, just reviewing them now. They look really, really good. So I think I got kind of what I was envisioning, you guys. Now I just gotta see which ones are in focus and if I can actually pull this off with using at least one. That might be it right there. All right, very cool, very cool. All right, you guys, well, I got my photograph. I'm excited about it because I think I got a good one. Um, so now what we need to do is just simply pack up the camera gear first, get all the expensive stuff back in the car. There we go. There we go. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, I hope you'll give that a like as well as subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I do weekly adventures here in East Tennessee, and um, I hope you'll join me on my next one. So until next time, tight lines. Three, two, one.